the eagle is the bird that dominates the sky and is also the bird honored to be chosen as the symbol of America. Although the hawk's body is much smaller than the falcon's, it does not show any fear. Every time the eagle intends to attack, the hawk spreads its wings in defense. When the falcon attacks more fiercely, the hawk immediately flies up to avoid confrontation with the opponent. Eagles suddenly appeared in the territory where the Merops Biocides lives. The eagle fluttered its wings and the hunter quickly called the Merops suicide a light meal. The white stork stood and observed the eagle for a long time. When the eagle did not pay attention to him, the white stork immediately stole the eagle's food. The eagle soon realized the stork's intentions. It had taken precautions in advance. As soon as the opponent continued his intention, the eagle immediately used its sharp claws to grab the stork's beak. While foraging, the heron discovered an eagle also feeding nearby. At this point, the eagle realized, and it immediately launched a kick towards the opponent. The heron quickly avoided it, and it also quickly left before the fierce opponent. As for flying animals, hawks are not afraid of any animals, and can sparrows withstand them. It seems like both are equal, but in terms of strength, the sparrow is no match for the hawk. No matter how hard they try, the sparrow still cannot change the situation. The hawk used its sharp claws to grab the sparrow's head, making it impossible for the sparrow to resist. The hawk was attacking its prey when suddenly two magpies appeared. Realizing the opponent's intentions, the hawk immediately became wary of the magpie. Seizing the opportunity, the pigeon also struggled to escape but failed. The two magpies continue to approach the hawk. The cunning magpie attacks behind the hawk's tail. At this point, the hawk has taken down its prey and it begins to enjoy its meal. However, the two magpies still harass the hawk, making it impossible to concentrate on his meal. Finally, the two strangers agree to leave hawk had a chance to eat his own meal. Cody. Confrontation is taking place. It seems the owl has the other hand as its body presses against the falcon's tail. Seeing the appearance of humans, the owl immediately became ferocious. Invading the crow's territory, the owl was attacked by a crow. Realizing that the enemy still has no intention of leaving, the black crow invited more flocks to come. Surrounded by crows, will the owl be weaker? From above, the eagle is diving to the ground to catch a fox. Even though the fox tried to escape, it was still caught by the eagle. With sharp claws, the eagle caught a wolf. The eagle began to peck at its opponent, causing the dog to struggle in pain and run away. The hawk is fighting with a flock of black crows. Which species will win? The hawk must both confront the crows and hold tightly to its prey. The hunter uses its sharp claws to grab his prey, making it impossible for the black crow to escape. The hawk tries to take down its prey, but it still does not forget to be alert to its surroundings. From above, a hawk attacks a black crow nearby. Discovering the danger, the black crow tried to spread its wings quickly, but could not escape the hawk's claws. The two sides were evenly matched, wrestling back and forth with each other. However, the Black Crow had to die before this formidable hunter. The 
Crow's hasty breathing showed that this struggle had been going on for quite a long time. But it still cannot escape from the falcon's claws. The clever crow used its beak to grab its opponent's leg. Being at a disadvantage, the falcon cannot attack the crow with its claws. Can this crow turn the situation around? The battle for survival is still ongoing, and there is no end in sight. If in the forest the lion is known as the king of the forest, in the sea there are sharks, then in the sky it is where the eagle rules. As soon as the eagle swooped down, the goat immediately used its horns to attack the opponent. The fight became more intense, when the goat risked his life to rush down the slope to escape the hunter. The two rolled around several times before hitting a nearby rock. After all the efforts, the two goats escaped their hunter. The fox was grabbing the bait and running back to the cave when suddenly an eagle rushed in and took the bait. The fox tried to cling to the bait, causing it to be suspended in the air by the eagle. An eagle was beaten so badly by a bobcat that it could not stand up. Even though it's injured, the eagle still refused to forgive the other animal. It still grabbed the opponent's leg, making it impossible for the lynx to escape. The eagle suddenly appeared, and it aggressively attacked the dogs. After a while of confrontation, the mother dog panicked and left despite the puppies being trampled by the eagle. What does an eagle look like when hunting for fish? After carefully observing the prey from the treetops, the eagle begins his hunt, and the hunter spreads his wings and flies down below. With sharp claws, the eagle can easily catch a fish for himself. The eagle carries its prey to a suitable place to enjoy its meal. The eagle uses its feet to hold its prey tightly so that they can easily eat it. The secretary bird is also known as a snake-eating kite. Two secretarial birds are catching a rabbit together. No matter how quick the rabbit is, it will be difficult for the rabbit to escape. From above, the eagle discovered a fox and the eagle began to hunt for the prey. In just a few minutes, the eagle caught the fox. Before this huge hunter, the fox had no chance of escaping. The hawk is watching its eggs, and from afar, a snake is slowly crawling towards it. The hawk's eyes followed every move of the snake. The snake crawled to a place and started attacking the hawk. The snake continuously delivers fierce bites to its opponent. But the hawk is not good either. It always dodges the snake's attacks. Finally, the hawk used his foot to knock the snake to the ground. The eagle is comfortably eating his meal. And suddenly a vulture flew from afar to steal the eagle's prey. Despite its efforts, the eagle still could not protect its prey from the attack of the vultures. With good coordination, the two eagles hunted together and caught a wolf. They held the wolf tightly, making it difficult for the wolf to escape. The wolf was in pain when the eagle repeatedly pecked at him. Rabbits run fast, eagles fly fast. What will be the outcome of this war? The eagle swooped down to try to catch the rabbit, but failed. Seizing the opportunity, the rabbit quickly ran away. The eagle continued to chase. It rushed down to catch its prey. After a while, the rabbit still couldn't escape the eagle. 
Discovering that the dog was chasing its prey, the eagle immediately attacked the dog. With just a strong kick from the eagle, the dog fell to the ground. The eagle was standing and observing its surroundings carefully. After careful observation, the eagle quickly moved forward. The eagle approached the spot where there was a piece of leftover bait. The eagle hesitated and looked for its prey for a moment and then decided to eat this leftover bait. This goat becomes the next target of the eagle's attack. The eagle spread its wings, rushed forward and grabbed the goat's leg and carried it away. After the goat hit the rock, the eagle let go and let the goat fall freely from the top to the bottom of the mountain. The goat fell, hit the mountainside and rolled down to the foot of the mountain. Without much effort, the eagle easily had a hearty meal for himself. From above, the eagle is watching, looking for a meal. As soon as it started to fly down, all the other small animals were in a communion, looking for a place to hide. Unfortunately for the rabbit, it got caught in the eye of the eagle. The zebra was walking slowly. A sharp gaze was directed at it and it still did not notice. Because the zebra's vigilance has been made easier from the lion to hunt. Once the prey has been captured, the lion will use his power to attack usually on the neck or head of the zebra to finish its prey quickly. Once the zebra has lost the ability to move, the lion will approach and start eating the prey. The herd of zebras steps across the river one by one, trying to make their way through the deep and furious waters, while large crocodiles lurk around the river, waiting to strike. A crocodile attacked a zebra with a fatal bite. Luckily, the zebra escaped. In the bushes appeared a jaguar. I don't know when it had been observing the zebra. Seeing that the zebra has injured its leg, the jaguar approaches and attacks its prey without losing too much strength. A crocodile saw this and crawled up to enjoy the prey with the jaguar. The crocodile opened its mouth to bite its prey. It seemed very good. It tried to bite horizontally and vertically, but this meal was very difficult for it it was helpless to leave. The herd of zebras are scattered by the lion's chase. With the inherent agility of the lion, it very quickly grabbed the prey. The zebra tried to protest, but it seemed pointless. Another zebra came back to attack the lion, hoping the zebra get out of the predator's sharp teeth. Not stopping, the zebra immediately launched a rear kick to hit the predator's face and make a spectacular escape. Zebras are engrossed in eating grass in the vast field. Behind a lion is carefully low to approach the zebra's position. At a certain distance, the lion galloped quickly to grab the prey. Still, the old moved to the hold the prey down and bite its neck. With the sudden appearance of the lion, the zebra quickly turned and ran away. It used its hind legs to kick the lion away. The zebra is crossing the river. The water is a bit strange, attracting the attention of the zebra. Sensing danger, the zebra quickly ran ashore. Before the zebra could be fixed, a lion rushed to attack it. With the lion's rapid speed, the zebra fell to the ground. Struggling fiercely, the zebra was still caught by the lion's sharp teeth. The lion jumped up and hugged the zebra on the back, causing it to panic and jump in pain. Although it tried to struggle and let the lion fly away from its body, the lion still refused to let go.
The zebra's body was covered with very heavy wounds. It must have been through a brutal battle. Can escape predators, but the wounds left will cost the zebra its life. A common image in this competition is when a zebra attacks the baby antelope. This attack caused the parents of the child antelope to become extremely angry. The parents of the baby antelope approached the zebra and began to counterattack to shield their baby from the zebra's attacks. Not so that the zebra ignored it, it continued to rush to attack the baby antelope. The zebra's kick caused the baby antelope to tumble extremely painfully. The extremely painful deep lacerations on the zebra's body seem to have just gone through a very fierce battle to leave such wounds. It stood still and looked around to ensure its own safety. Then it bent down to eat grass to regain its strength. The lion is rather agile and aggressive predator. When they chase zebras, lions speed up and jump to pin their prey to the ground. Once holding the prey, the lion immediately uses its sharp teeth to finish the prey. With the lion's agility, it's easy to close and attack the prey. The prey it hits is rarely able to escape. After the lion's painful bites, the zebra gradually weakened and collapsed. A wild buffalo rushed in, causing the lion to leave its prey and run away. The buffalo tried to pull the zebra up, but it couldn't. Recovering his strength, the zebra ran away with the wounds left by the lion. With the gaze of the cheetah, the zebra bravely launched its first attack, surprising the leopard and it had to run away. It is rare that we get to see the sight of zebras chasing leopards, because zebras are inherently a gentle species that will not quarrel with other species. The battle between hyenas and zebra cubs. The hyenas bite and keeps the prey from running away. A few minutes later, another hyena appeared to join in the fight. While wandering and foraging in the grasslands, the zebras were caught in the sight of the lion. Realizing this was an opportunity to get himself a delicious meal, the lion decided to go after him. It seems that their running speeds are very similar, as the lion is still following closely behind the zebra. However, as soon as he attacked his prey, the lion was repelled by a zebra with a kick behind his forte. It was also the decisive kick that was able to escape or not. The scene was chaotic due to the lion's chase. An ill-fated zebra was caught by the lion. The zebras around are just watching. They don't help save their own kind. Without the help of his comrades, the zebra rose to protest, but it was still held by the lion. Its resistance paid off. This time, the zebra escaped the lion's teeth and got up and ran. When the lion lunges at the zebra, it uses its speed to strike suddenly and quickly. It was because of the sudden attacks that caused the zebra to panic. It ignored the lion that was clinging to its body and only tried to run. After a few rounds of rolling, the zebra finally broke free from the lion's grasp, taking the opportunity to escape. The battle on the riverside of the zebra and the crocodile. The zebra is trying to get to the shore, but the crocodile tries to pull the prey to the surface. Crocodile biting the zebra's leg didn't give the zebra a chance to come ashore. The noise from the battle drew the attention of the hippopotamuses nearby. The zebra struggled in pain, 
Fortunately, with the help of the hippopotamus, it was able to escape the crocodile attack. The battle started and took place quite fiercely. They constantly provoked the enemy, but did not see any attacks. Oh. The zebra was constantly pushed by the horse's head, causing the zebra to struggle and do nothing but run. But the horse still didn't spare. It kept colliding with the zebra. The piglets are coming out of the cave in search of food. They were targeted and chased by the puma. Immediately, the mother pig quickly chased the puma back. Puma Conkola hastily found a way to escape for himself. The lion is one of nature's most powerful and bloodthirsty predators. They have incredible speed and strength. However, warthogs are also a tough opponent with their strength and talent. This time, they hunted a pregnant wild boar. They bite the flesh of their prey, even the internal organs of the wild boar. This piglet is lucky not to be noticed by the lions. With her motherly love, the lion decided to give the piglet a way to live. The mother lion took the piglets away to another field so that they could survive. And has the twisting power of the muscles that will quickly help them reach speeds of up to 80 kilometers an hour in a very short time. And all of a sudden, these lions tried fighting. So all of a sudden, Warthog has a large size and short legs. They're usually 100 to 150 centimeters in length and 50 to 150 kilograms in weight. They also have sharp fangs and spikes on their backs to protect themselves from predators. They can reach a top speed of about 55 kilometers an hour in a short time, enabling them to escape. Warthog is running away from the lion's feeding. Perhaps the lion has just finished eating and has no interest in their prey. It chases and plays with the baby warthog. The warthog was lucky not to be bitten by the lion. A leopard is looking for a meal and it approaches this warthog. Although the warthog is not a ferocious species, but because of the instincts of defense and revenge, it makes the warthog very agitated. The warthog rushes out to attack the leopard recklessly, even though it may hurt itself. The warthogs were looking for food when they caught sight of the lioness. The warthog ran away, but it was not afraid. It seems the only way for it to cut off the lion's tail is to chase this predator. Warthog's aggression causes the lion to constantly retreat on alert. The lioness gives up not wanting to meet this ferocious prey. The warthog is one of the leopard's favorite foods. Especially with small and weak wild boars because the piglets can't fight the leopard. This cheetah is one of the most talented predators in nature. It's an animal that is adept at hunting.
Cheetahs have the ability to attack quickly and incredibly accurately. Using their agility and strength to attack their prey with sharp claws stuck into their neck. After the chase, the cheetah also defeated the warthog. In the dry season, food gradually becomes more scarce for all animals. Many species have had to move to other areas to continue to feed. Some species like the lion and the warthog still choose to stay. The lion detects the smell of the warthog in the dirt. When in danger, the warthog is very brave when he wants to rescue his children. A lion is silently stalking its prey. The prey is right in front of it and it is still waiting for the right moment to attack. A slow-moving warthog was caught by the lioness despite struggling to escape the predator's teeth. The lion is constantly scouring the ground. The wild boars scattered when the male lion was about to enter their nest. With his hunting skills, the male lion easily caught one of the prey. It quickly took it away and devoured this prey. Lions live in prides in the same area. and often will hunt together to increase their chance of catching their prey. Leopards are among the wild boar's main predators in the wild. The jaguar can attack a single wild boar or attack a group of wild boars. Big and old wild boars can fight back and even defeat leopards. The young are not strong enough to rival the leopard, so it is easy for them to be caught by the leopard. With the ability of climbing trees, the leopard quickly escaped the revenge of other wild boars. The leopard waits for the wild boar to leave before it grabs its prey. And the cheetah is a wild animal that possesses certain strengths and speed. They are often described as a ferocious predator of the warthog. In terms of strength, the cheetah is no match for the warthog. With just one hit from the warthog, the cheetah flew into the sky. Fortunately for the cheetah to be able to run fast, it managed to escape. Lions are looking for prey. They'll use their hunting skills. Warthogs are still eating grass and do not know that they are in danger. The lion starts to attack and chases the warthog. Even though he was bitten by a lion, the warthog still tried to resist. Very quickly, the lion defeated this warthog. It's a raptor that can also hunt by hovering in the air and searching for prey by sight or scent. The long beak makes it more convenient for hunting. The prey is quickly picked up and put in the throat. An eagle swooping down to steal food from Leptotolis crumniferis. The eagle attacks the bird to keep it away from its prey. The eagle keeps the prey to itself. Observation skills are also an important part of the shoebill stalks hunting. They have a very good eye to locate prey and observe them from a distance. When they've observed prey, they will spit their beaks into the water or land, trying to catch the prey with their long beaks. It 
also inevitably hit the wrong target, like missing a log for prey. Shoebill's stalk just grew up because of its hungry stomach. It had to learn to hunt for itself, seriously to avoid the absence of its mother. Just one peg of the great blue heron, the baby crocodile was caught by the big blue heron's beak. Then there were the blows to push the prey to slightly bring it through the throat of the great blue heron. A very quick hunt, one small crocodile is enough for it to have a full meal. Seagulls hovered in the sky looking for prey. A rabbit fell into their sights. Another seagull discovers delicious prey and goes to fight for it. It won and got the rabbit. A grey-headed fish kite is swooping down to the surface of the water, using its sharp claws to snatch its prey out of the water. The beautiful hunting scene of the grey-headed fish kite. Very quickly, a fish was snatched out of the water and into the air. Leptopilitos chromidferus, also known as the marabou stork, is a large bird in the family Siconidae. Leptopilitos chromidferus has a long and large beak and a long neck. The upper body is dark grey and the lower body is silvery white. They also have low fur on their heads, two black eye marks with a red skin behind their eyes, and two long pairs of lemons. The shoebill stork has a long conical bill, combined with a large mouth and large wings. They have a dark greenish grey fur and a long neck that breathes down the front. Shoebill storks live in swamps, lakes and rivers, often eating fish, frogs, snails and other aquatic animals. The mother antelope is trying to push her baby into the lake to get away from the shoebill stork behind. The stork comes to attack the baby antelope's head. The painful incisions cause the baby antelope to collapse. Because of the painful pecs, the baby antelope was determined to get up and run away. On the street, the tug of war gull is slowly swallowing its newly caught prey in its throat very quickly. An easy hunt for the grey heron. With a single peck, the great bird captured the hare. Caught alive by the grey heron, the rabbit barely had a chance to escape. The grey heron slowly adjusted the position of the rabbit in its mouth and devoured the hare deliciously. The African fish eagle spread its wings to the fullest and rushed to face the buffalo. It also uses its claws to hold on to the fish it had snatched from another opponent. The eagle did not intend to leave, but remained in place holding the bait. Then it actively attacks the vulnerable position in the buffalo's mouth with its sharp claws. Buffalo is a species of group of the five great African wild animals due to its aggressive nature, so this confrontation is even more interesting. The buffalo is not interested in the eagle and decides to leave. Peacocks generally do not attack other animals, that they are do not consider prey or threatened by their very existence. Maybe this chicken is the one who started the fight. Both attack each other by flying into the air and using their feet to kick the opponent. Although the chicken is small, it is still not overwhelmed by a peacock many times bigger than me. The battle seems to show no signs of stopping. With the current situation, it's difficult to decide between victory and defeat. The jackal approached, trying to attack a secretary bird that was enormous in size for them. 
Thanks to the advantage of the shape, every time the jackal gets close to the bird, the secretary spreads her wings to challenge and scare away predators. As a result, the pair of jackals could not do anything to this large bird. It just stood and looked up at the bird. The grey-crowned crane is easily recognized by its pink nose and white veins on its wings. They are dark grey, long-legged and adapted to the terrain of caves and swamps. The gull has thick outer hair, grey to black in colour, with a long, triangular tail. The vast majority of gulls are ground-nesting raptors, feeding on live or dead flesh, depending on the occasion. Seagulls are resourceful and highly intelligent, able to exhibit complex modes of communication and have a highly developed social structure. Many species of seagulls have been successfully taught to live with humans and thrive in human habitats. The pair of secretaries follow their prey and use powerful, precise kicks to attack their prey. Precise blows to the head and spine make their prey almost paralyzed. In the scene of life and death battles between the African jackal and the Leptopilos criminiferus. The African jackal quickly approached the Leptopilos criminiferus and attacked its neck. Jackals firmly pressed onto the neck of their prey to the ground and refused to let go. The bird was still unable to withstand the opponent's powerful and decisive attacks. The eagle went down to the chicken's nest. The mother hen saw the appearance of the eagle and quickly came out to protect her children. The chicken, in order to protect its chicks, also attacks the eagle continuously. The shoebill stork opened his mouth wide to scare the swan away from his feeding ground. Not wanting a conflict or a fight on the shoebill stork, and he quietly left. The white shoebill stork watched with a smug look. A flock of white pelicans is attacking the birds sitting around them. With the white pelicans' paws, the birds are sitting in their mouths. The white pelican is known for its wide body plumage and long pointed beak which can grow up to 10 to 15 centimeters. This fox caught a rabbit and took it away. An eagle rushed to snatch the fox's prey. With a sudden scramble, the fox was dragged into the air with its prey. Two eagles are holding the wolf at their feet. Even with the help of humans, the wolf still couldn't escape the two eagles. A team of wildlife conservation workers discovered and recorded the scene of a black-backed seagull attacking and swallowing a rabbit. The seagull pulls the rabbit out from its burrow and quickly devours its prey within seconds. Great black-backed gulls are opportunistic predators, and a significant portion of their diet consists of uneaten food leftovers from other animals. We hope that you've really enjoyed and found interesting and useful values from the gecko. We'll continue to bring you exciting stories, information and experiences about the animal world in the future. Thank you for accompanying us.